Spanish story overall. We're on the screen right now. It's one of the most crooked cop in St. Catherine, Spanish town, and Central Village. Yes, indeed, the most corrupt cop in St. Catherine. You know him, right? Yeah, man. He's Jason McKay. Yeah, man. AKA the Godfather. No. More I'll talk about this Hitman Police, Jason Mackay. Hitman 2 Twin Boy Police will work out a 100 man over Portmore side, 100 man police station. Now, no I know what is really going on in Jamaica. Cause the man them, them kill the youth in the barber shop. After them kill the youth in the barber shop, them take him body to the morgue, then went to the youth house, kick off him door, go in the search it, come back to the same spot where them kill him, there was a bar there, the youth phone was in the bar and them take the phone, and them still say, a gunman kill him. Me have a talk about this, Hitman Bumbuckler Police Boy Jason. Makai, what is going on in Jamaica? Greatness was said. The whole world in a crisis. When I come and tell you about the crisis, the end of the day and the night and the dark. Jamaica bring back the niceness. Exactly. All of the dogs in the streets and the road is a gun strike. Good dear, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great. Great. One more great and two more great. Great, great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And click on another video. Now, more to the look on that picture, yeah. And the boy this, Jason McKay, I'ma finally get in picture. Yo, I don't understand how the boy still depend the police force. You understand? Now, me a call upon the Jamaican police. Fe, take the boy off of the street. Listen, me have a piece of news clipping upon the boy. I'm a one big up J crazy on him vlog. You understand? Because, listen, this piece of information here, we may bring you now, on the head I go swell, and it's courtesy of J crazy. Yo, listen, that boy, I may not stop until him come off of the force, until him go to prison. The man I work with, some gang member you understand he might work with he might use one gang and I clean out the other set of people any man with them not deal with I that the boy I do him and the twin them yo we need to get this police boy off of the street you see when you hear this on the head of a raise before I play the video I want to know remember why may I do this you now? May I do this for the people of my Jamaica? May I do this for Anjo? May I do it for the lady? A lady just called me and then put some trump up charge on her son you know. May I go talk about all of them things there. You see that pussy wall police boy a star. I can't understand you know how the Jamaican government have them kind of police yeah, in the system 
I kill off the youth them. I plant gun pan them. And another thing what me can't understand. Oh the bad man them a Jamaica so now nah, bad man. I wanna have them police boy. Yeah. I kill off people in our community. Una had a una all a work with police. And say on a bad man. Una a pussy. Yo. Jason McKay and the twin. Me nah stop. Until them come off of the force. Yo, me I go contact 100 man police station. And me I go send the information we me have. Get a big police for me know. A Jamaica dog. Me nah play with them pussy. Ya. Them pussy wall police boy. Ya. Yo, me want to sit back and watch the clip. Because I was going to talk about Andrew. But me I play that clip here. I'm wanting to watch all the police boy. Yeah. Wicked no bomb back lad. Listen to this. Now we head towards St. Catherine, St. Child Village, Spanish Town overall. Where I'm asking right now is one of the most crooked cop in St. Catherine, Spanish Town and St. Child Village. Yes indeed, the most corrupt cop in St. Catherine. You know him right? You know him. He's Jason McKay. Your man, aka the godfather of Dogman, who's the leader of the Mortal Gang from Zion Lane in Central Village. Now, this cop cop with Jason McKay is actually helping Dogman to actually spread violence in Central Village. Yes, indeed. He's helping the Mortal Gang to actually terminate and murder innocent victims. Now, his involvement in the Mortal Gang and the affairs of Dogman, because we know Dogman is overseas, right? He ran away overseas. He's actually spreading fear to residents all over Central Village and actual rival gangs. So, actually three rival gangs to attack Immortal gang attack Zion Lane because of his influence in the gang. Now what Jason McKay does for Dogman and the members of the Immortal gang is track down targets, yeah man, innocent targets that they want to kill. Or if in here say you carry information to the police on the Immortal gang and Dogman, what he does, he tells the members that you get the information and check where you live and then the gang members of the Immortal Gang, they come at your home, wherever you are, and take you out. Do you think there are so many innocent victims who are murdered on the hand of this gang because of Jason McKay's involvement? He's like a tracker for the gang. So you will say, you will come and take information and track you and hold you down to take you out. Now, the way how it's so corrupt is that Dog had a case where he was caught with an illegal firearm. And what Jason McKay did, because he's an officer in the force, and he came like a position in the force, he helped pull string so that Dogman could get away from that case. You yeah, know, he pulled strings so that Dogman could get away from the case and not be behind bars for illegal gun. Now this man has done many damage to Central Village. And it's so unfortunate that this man is still roaming the streets and not be under an investigation. If it was some other country, he would be under investigation and permitted from the police force and this is on charge and behind bars. But we know Jamaica. Jamaica is a country that has the most corruption worldwide. I said yes. Jamaica has the most corruption worldwide. We are talking from top. Bottom. Yes, indeed. 
Jamaica has the most corruption worldwide. Now, this is the reason why the Jamaicans don't just address safe from the police. And now the police no information because of corrupt cops like Jason McKay. Now, the police won't actually go to the immortal gang, you know. But because of his involvement in the JCF, he can tell them when police are coming after them. We can't have these corrupt cops in the police force. They are making the JCF look very bad, to be honest with you. They are stink. They need to be removed. Now, I want to just listen to that and I want to hear what this police boy have been doing for years upon years upon years. And I heard he's a constable. He's not even a full-fledged police. So, yo, me I call upon the Jamaican government. I'm calling on Fitz, police commissioner, Anderson. And I am going to contact the 100-man police station. Me want to know who are the superintendent that runs that. No, something has to be done. Listen, I want to think that police man I do. And I have like two to three more videos of some of the things that this policeman is doing. And it have a raise on the skin. Yo, police boy, may I make sure you and the twin them come out of the police force. If I the last thing me do, yo, you're worse than shatty mark. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the next video. And remember, there is more coming from that police pussy wall boy. A cool boy, yo. Yo, I not even understand what I go on in Jamaica. Jano.